Okay, so how we set this up, it's very, very, very easy. The inside square is four by four squares of my dot grid paper. Okay. The outside square, if you go from the top one there, it is then every three and one quarter squares. So it's there, then half, then three quarters, and then that. And then what you do is you join up there to there. Okay, you should have eight sections. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight from corner to corner. And then you just do it every half a square on the inside of your, uh, on, on the inside square, if that makes sense. So you go from corner to corner. I always find it easier to do the corner ones first. Okay, and then you work outwards from there. My pen is also running out, so. Okay, so they're now in place. Now you come three and one quarter squares down on the outside and half a square on the inside. If it makes it easier, miss that one and jump one to, the, to six and a half squares and one square on the inside and then what you can do is join that up which makes it slightly easier to see the inside one for you like so and then you just continue all the way around going three and a quarter squares on the outside and half a square on the inside remember you want 31 squares in total so you'll have 8 16 24 and then you've got to do the remaining eight squares across the top which pretty much takes it all up doesn't it really so yeah and all of your opposing lines should meet up now that's in place you want to draw your inside square in. I mean, obviously do it whichever way feels best for you, but that is how I do it. Just, I find it easier to draw the diagonal lines in first and then the rest of it in afterwards, because once you draw, for example, this line in, all of those dots have now disappeared and I can't see them. So I find it much, much easier to draw my diagonal lines in and then my uh, my other lines. Oh, I'm drawing a line in there, look. I forgot that one. Now, you can draw all the way around if you want to. Uh, I choose not to, I just, I don't know why, I just don't. <laughs> um, because that's where my numbers for my task list will go. Um, I haven't left myself an awful lot of room, so I'm going to have to stick it on a post-it note. Uh, although I normally put it up here, I have put my title there, so I'm not sure what to do about that. <laughs> but yeah, that's, that's, that's the gist anyway. And then all you do after that is draw your lines from diagonal to diagonal. Okay. This pen is dying. You do not want to go beyond the diagonals. There you go, that's pretty much it. Um, I will stick my title up top to match the theme that I'm going to do. And um, there you go. So all you do is you work your way up. 
I've actually gone the other way to how I did February's. February's I came down. So <laughs> hopefully I'll remember this because if not, I'm going to have to redo it and stick a bit of paper over there. So this is day one and this is item one. Um, so if I put my day cream on, I colour that square in. If I put makeup on, I colour that square in. If I do the challenges, I colour that one. But And so on and so forth. For the 1st of March, 2nd of March is this column. 3rd of March is this column and so on and so on all the way around. That's it. Very, very simple. Hope you found this help helpful. Thank you so much for joining me.